What's up guys, Aoshi here, and uh, just coming back from Anime Expo 2024, and uh, boy, was it a fun time, but I know you guys aren't here to hear my recollection of my time down in the Anime Super Bowl of fandom and, well, lots of eye candy. You're here for Gonna Breaker, and uh, boy... Gunner Breaker 4. Oh man, I spent a good portion of my time down there and uh, I can say a lot of different things. At the same time, uh, we did get to uh, play it, and I say we, uh, myself and some lucky people that happened to be there at Anime Expo, um, especially if you attended there, uh, got to play a demo version of Gunner Breaker 4, which was really cool because... Uh, even though it's been a while since March, since the Japanese uh, network test, the closed network test, it's kind of been on my mind, obviously, and a lot of you guys as well. And so, you know, jumping into it without having to play it in like God knows how long, it was definitely a nice refresher. Um, unfortunately, it was a very quick demo. It's about 10 to 15 minutes. So just because... With the amount of people there on a sold out crowd, uh, people at the booth wanted to make sure people were cycling in and out fairly, I would say steadily. I won't say super, super quick, but like fairly steadily at the uh, Bandai Namco booth, which, uh, man, it was hard to keep me away <laughs> because I just wanted to, you know, play some more. But considering the demo being limited as it is, it was just kind of like, well, it's going to lose its allure and shine if I overdo it. So um, I will say some things regarding the demo because it is a different build than what we got to play in March. And from my talking with the folks at the Bandai Namco booth, I can tell you that the upcoming network test, the open network test that is going to be starting next Wednesday, not this upcoming Wednesday by the time you guys see this, but the next upcoming one, um, it obviously will be a different build. Um, hard to say what we can and can't do. I believe also I was told that the diorama mode is non-functioning in this uh, build as well. So if you were tr looking forward to trying things out like I was, unfortunately, uh, that may have to wait until the full release of the game, which is in August. Um, at the same time, I'm told that the demo should be a little bit longer. It might be as long as what we had in the previous uh, closed network tests in Japan. Uh, if you happen to get creative and make your way into that, um, I would say it's a very similar setup, if I'm not mistaken. Um, there may be a possibility of story, hard to say, um, just because things are kind of under wraps right now. And uh, I would say something like that would be kind of a constant talk between both Japan and uh, the American branches in regards to Breaker 4 because. Well, they're definitely taking every detail into account and they want to make sure this game releases uh, in a very great state, which, I mean, I'm already really impressed already with this early build. So I'm pretty sure you guys are tired of me talking. So without further ado, I took a chance with the stock suit, which, by the way, uh, one last thing is that these suits were not fully leveled. Um, they did have access to whatever EX and optional attacks they have. I know you guys have been breaking this down like crazy. I'm not going to go through all that because I know you guys are going to go through that and I don't want to be my own echo chamber. So I will tell you this, hardcore is definitely hardcore. It will definitely test your builds and whatever attributes that you're going to be grinding out for your perfect gun blast. So uh, definitely look forward to the challenge. So without further ado, some gameplay. Thank you. 